Welcome to the Empire State College Online Library's Interlibrary Loan Tutorial. I will explain who is eligible for the service, how to register, how to request books and other materials, and a number of common questions about our service. Interlibrary Loan is a service that lets you borrow materials through our library from external sources. That is to say, if we don't have a particular journal article or book, you can use Interlibrary Loan to get it delivered to you from some other library. Our success rate is about 85%. At the present time, our Interlibrary Loan service is only available to graduate students, staff, and faculty who work at least half-time. If you are eligible for Interlibrary Loan, you can find the link for it on the library website. Click the Services tab. On the Services page, the second item down is Interlibrary Loan. Click the link for it. You can also get to the Interlibrary Loan login page by entering http colon slash slash www.esc.edu slash ill into the address bar of your browser. This is the Interlibrary Loan start page. At the top right of the page, there is a gray box with options to register for first-time users, or log in for returning users. First, you need to register. The next page contains the terms of service. When you have read them, click the Register button at the bottom. This is the registration form itself. It's important that you give us your real name and address so we can ship your materials to you. At the present time, we can only ship materials within the continental 48 states. We also need an email address that you check regularly, so you can receive notifications about the status of your requests. When you register, you will receive a confirmation email right away. Within two business days, you will receive another email saying whether you've been cleared, that is, admitted to the service, or disavowed, which means you were found ineligible. You do not have to wait to begin making requests, but they will not go through until you are cleared. To make requests, Go back to the Interlibrary Loan Start page and click the Login button in the gray box at the upper right. It will ask you for your username and password. These are the ones you created when you filled out the registration form. They are not the same as the college login and password that you use to get into your online courses, but if it helps you to remember it, you can use the same ones. Just remember that if you change your password in one system, it's not going to change automatically in the other system. This is what your interlibrary loan account will look like. The right side of the page has a list of your outstanding requests. Our demo user, Bob McBob, hasn't made any requests yet, so the list is empty. The left column has various menu options. Log off, make a new request, view, and tools. First, let's look at the new request options. You can request a book or audiovisual material, in other words, CD, cassette, record, DVD, or VHS tape. You can also request a single chapter from a book, an article from a journal, or a conference paper. This is the book or audiovisual request form. It will ask for the author, title, publication date, and other information to help identify the item. Fill out the information as accurately and completely as possible. Double check your information and then click the Submit Request button. The item you requested will now appear in the Outstanding Requests list on your main page where you can check its status in the rightmost column. This is the journal article request form. Like the book form, it will ask for the author. It will also ask for both the article title and the title of the journal, as well as the volume, issue, year, and page numbers. Fill out the information as accurately and completely as possible. When you're done filling out the form, click the Submit Request button. The book you just ordered now appears in your Outstanding Requests list. Books are shipped to you by UPS. You will also receive a plastic envelope in which to return your book. Sometimes the envelope arrives first. Don't be alarmed, the book will soon follow. Books generally take between five days and two weeks to arrive, depending on how hard they are to obtain. Articles are delivered to you online in PDF format. Most articles can be expected to arrive within two days. 
You will receive an email notifying you that your item has been electronically delivered. You will have to log in to the Interlibrary Loan system to retrieve it. Once you're logged in, go to the View menu and click Electronically Received Articles. It will take you to a page that has the link to the PDF file of your article, which you can download to your computer and either save or print out. Incidentally, book chapters are delivered and accessed the same way. If a request is cancelled, you will receive an email. About 15% of requests are cancelled, most of them because the borrower did not realize that we already have the item in our library. Other requests are cancelled because the user was disavowed because they weren't eligible for the service. On rarer occasions, we have to cancel a request because we can't obtain the item. When you request items, they come from either the University at Buffalo or Amazon.com. If neither source has the item, we have to cancel the request. Articles and book chapters are delivered electronically, so you don't have to return them. Books and media items have a 30-day loan period, and you have to send them back so they will arrive before their due date. To return them, you use the plastic envelope that was shipped with them. If you requested multiple items, be sure to match the transaction number, or TN, on the envelope label with the TN on the sticker on the front of the book. If the book doesn't have a sticker, you can log into Interlibrary Loan and check for its TN in the Checked Out Items list. If you have misplaced your envelope, please contact us at ill at esc.edu. Give us your username and the transaction number of the request, and we will send you a new envelope. Do not return your books without the special envelope. The barcode on the front is how we check them back in. If you think you will need more than 30 days to use your book or media item, in most cases you can renew it for one additional 30-day period. To renew an item, go to the View menu and click Checked Out Items. In the Checked Out Items list, click the transaction number of the item you want to renew. If the item is renewable, you will see a red Renew Request link at the top of the page. Click it. You will get a confirmation email and can keep the item for an additional 30 days. Sometimes you will not see the red Renew Request link. If the item is already overdue, you cannot renew it and must return it immediately. Additionally, some items are not renewable because the lender has opted not to enable renewals. In your Interlibrary Loan account, the Tools menu lets you update your mailing address and change your password. Since books and media items have to be shipped to you, it's important to keep your mailing address up to date. You may want to change your password if you think your security has been compromised. If you have forgotten your password and can't log in, there is a Reset Password option on the login page. Your password will be automatically reset to ILL, and you will have to use that to log in and then change your password to something more secure. If you have any questions about how Interlibrary Loan works, or a situation that has come up with an Interlibrary Loan request, please check out our Frequently Asked Questions page at http colon slash slash www.esc.edu slash illfaq. You can also email us at ill at esc.edu or call us at 1-800-847-3000 extension 2453.